Choosing a modern trail mountain bike these days can be pretty difficult. I mean, just where do you start? Their suspension travel, geometry, frame material, and wheel size. And then the bigger question, what actually is a trail bike? Because the definition of a trail bike varies from person to person and from country to country. And while the brand new Canyon Spectral 125 launched today isn't a rapid or lightweight cross-country race bike, nor a thundering downhill bike. For the vast majority of riding between the two extremes, this new bike is bloody perfect. And probably, in my opinion, the perfect UK trail bike. So, brand new bike, it joins the existing Spectral family, a 150, 160mm long travel trail enduro bike with 29er wheels, updated last year, but has travel reduced. So 125 at the back, and 140 at the front. But despite that reduction in suspension travel, this bike hasn't been hobbled and has the same progressive geometry. So a 64 degree head angle, a 76 degree seat angle, and a longer reach, a 460 on this size medium. So in this video, we're gonna find out how this new bike rides and whether it's any good or not. So we'll talk about performance and handling when we go for a ride later in the video. But before that, let's go through the tech details, talk about price and equipment and give you a closer look at this brand new bike. So, let's dive in. So this brand new Spectral 125 is more or less the regular Spectral train on it on a diet. So let's travel front and rear but you put the two bikes side by side, they do look very similar, and there is a shared design language, so it is part of the Spectral family, but a lightweight kind of diet version, basically, for want of a better description. The range starts at £2,449 and goes right up to £5,649. This is the most affordable carbon model, the CF7, and costs £3,399, and the bike I'll be reviewing today. And it's packed, Full of very nice details. There's neat internal cable routing, fully guided for hassle-free maintenance, double sealed bearings, rubber chainstay protector, space for a water bottle, and a flip chip to adjust the geometry. Conditions definitely sub-optimal right now. A massive storm just blowing through, leaving it muddier than I've seen it in a long, long time. Really squidgy, squelchy, and slippery underneath your tires. So what makes this new Spectral 125 such a good UK trail bike? Well, for a start, it climbs really well. And for me, having a massive old climb right from my front door to the woods here, a good climb bike is essential. And this Spectral does climb well. It's light enough for a start, 30 pounds without pedals, just over with my trail pedals on. And then the triple phase suspension gives a nice stable pedaling platform so not bobbing around excessively. And best of all, you don't have to reach for a lockout lever at all. Just get on the bike and ride. In fact, for all the riding I've done recently, I haven't touched a lockout lever at all. And that is my idea of a perfect bike. Yes, suspension lockouts can work well, like the twin lock and give different characters to a bike. But personally, I want to get on the bike and ride and let the suspension take care of the downs and the ups with no a requirement to adjust any levers or settings. But this isn't a bike designed for climbing, it's all about the downhill. And boy, does a new Spectral 125 equip itself extremely well on the way back down. If you love descending the most off-piece, challenging, eyeballs out trails, the canyon will definitely make you smile, grin and laugh all the way down. The real fun bike, a real hooligan, really does punch well above its weight. You can't judge a bike by a suspension travel alone. It's a geometry that's a magic here. All the numbers combined to make it a bike that's so good in technical trails. The steeper, the rowdier, the better this bike is. But with that reduced travel, there is a warning. You have to pick your line a bit more carefully than a bike like the bigger Spectral with more travel. You can't simply point the bike at a load of rocks and roots and expect all that suspension travel to look after you. So you have to pick your line more carefully. But do that and it definitely rewards. And it's so satisfying when you're committed and brave 
and pick a daring line and the bike dances through the rock features, over the roots, through the berms and that's what I love about underbiking with short travel bikes is that yes they can be harder to access the good stuff but when you do it puts an even bigger smile on your face because you feel like a hero you feel like you've done the work and the bike's assisted you rather than you're just a passenger letting the bike and all that suspension travel do it for you. Let's talk about sizing and geometry and the brand new Spectral 125 leaning towards a more progressive end of the trail bike category. So longer, slacker and lower. It's a general trend that we're all used to with modern mountain bikes. And according to the size chart from Canyon, at 181 centimeters or five foot 11, I can ride either a size medium or a size large. This is a size medium and we have a 460 mil reach and the seat tubes are pretty short, which means if you're like me and you fit between two sizes, you can either size down or size up, depending on your riding style and the terrain you're riding. Now for me personally, I find a reach of around 475 or 480 about my sweet spot. So I did find this bike a bit shorter than I'm used to, but there's two sides to every story. While I generally prefer a longer reach for more stability on high speed steep sections, the shorter reach does give a bike that's more playful, more nimble, easier to maneuver around the trees on very twisting trails. So it depends on what trails you're riding and how you like to ride your bike. If you want that more nimble playfulness, go for a smaller size. If you want more stability, size it up. I'm sure some people watching this, if you made this far in the review, might be thinking it's a bit too slack for them. Well, Canyon has you covered because another bike in a range with similar travel and the same size wheels is the Neuron. Now the Neuron is a similar bike in terms of wheel size and suspension travel, 130 on that bike. But the geometry is a big difference between their two bikes and really shows that suspension travel doesn't determine how a bike will ride and it really is down to geometry. That Neuron is a more traditional, perhaps old fashioned trail bike with a steeper head angle, shorter reach better for long distance marathon riding on smoother terrain. Another question that might have popped into your head and it certainly has popped into my head is why don't you buy the full fat, longer travel spectral rather than wasted time with a short travel diet version? And it's a really good question. And really the only way to answer it is to ask yourself what your riding style is like and the terrain you have available to ride. For me personally, the trails I have on my doorstep without driving anywhere, don't really suit a 150 or 160 mil bike. It's a bit overkill if I'm honest with you. This bike though, is just right. Just enough travel, the real Goldilocks bike for my local trails. Let's talk about price and equipment. And as we come to expect from a German company, the value for money is strong with a brand new Spectral 125. But more than just a nice kit for your money, Canyon has shown an ability to spec the right equipment that enables a bike to really shine. This entry level carbon CF7 gets a perfect pairing of RockShot Pike Select Plus Fork and matching Deluxe Shock. The Pike really is the ideal trail fork and the new Charge 2.1 damper in this model gives superb performance in all situations. SRAM's GX Eagle gearing is a solid no nonsense choice on a bike of this price and it never misses a beat even in the most challenging and dire conditions I rode this bike through. Grinding up steep climbs is helped by a 1052 cassette, and there really isn't much you can't winch the Spectral 125 up, provided you're willing to put the effort in. On the way back down, the Code RS brakes are more than powerful enough to tame your enthusiasm, with the 200 front rotor and 180 rotor on the back, a good smart choice for this type of bike. The rolling stock is a pair of DT Swiss M1900 wheels, and they're a solid and dependable choice, as are the tires. A Maxxis Minion leaner charge at the front, and a dissector taking up a station at the rear. The XO casing saves weight, but some riders might prefer the Berlier XO Plus casing. You can always change the tires or fit inserts if you need more protection. From branded components to Canyon's own G5 brand for the 780mm wide handlebar, and even the company's own G5 dropper post, which works smoothly during my time with it, despite being jet washed after every single ride, and a nice ergonomic lever as well. So there we are then, my review of the brand new Canyon Spectral 125. It really is a bike that ticks all the boxes for me and it's 
just the right amount of travel, just the right numbers to really excel on my local trails and trails farrow field. I like the idea of underbiking because I can reach the limits of the bike much more easily than a bigger travel bike that can require a lot more speed and commitment to really unleash the full potential of those bikes. I do love how short travel bikes like this are really being pushed and pulled in the right direction thanks to developments by bigger travel bikes when it comes to geometry. So no longer do you judge a bike by how much suspension travel it has, but by the numbers, head angle, seat angle, and the reach in combination with really sorted suspension travel as well. So a bike that delivers huge smiles, huge grins, huge rewards on all sorts of trails and won't really hold you back anywhere at all, but will definitely shine everywhere you take it. So a bike is definitely a contender so far for my trail bike of the year. I think Canyon has done a great job bringing that spectral DNA to a shorter travel platform. And for me, it might just be the perfect UK bike. And on that note, I think that's a good time to wrap up this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe by hitting the button down here. And you can see some other man's bike review videos by checking this playlist up here. Right, I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.